What's up guys, JR Raymond back again, coming to you from Shopmakers Pro Shop here at New Glass Bowl in Toledo, Ohio, where today we're gonna to take a look at one of the new 900 global bowling balls. It is the Afterburn, Afterburner? Yeah, we'll go with that. I think it's the Afterburner. It's the blue one, and this is the pinup version that I went with. It actually came out to 55 by five by 45, or by 40. So 55 by five by 40. Uh, and that's what all of the bowling balls are going to be for the next couple of uh, balls that we're doing. Uh, and we're going to check it out over here on a 44-foot leak pattern here in a minute, so stay tuned. All right, so here we go. We're gonna take this afterburner. I've got the all new, uh, the board boxes out there. I got one out at 44 feet, and I got another here right at 15 feet. So you should be able to see at least where the ball's crossing and getting to down lane. So we can try and tell whether I'm making good shots or not. So uh, we're gonna line up, and just like always, I'm gonna try to hit that 13, 14 area and just see what the ball's gonna do initially to start. Wow. So I hit 14, so that's good. I got it to about seven down lane. Uh, so that ball reaction looks pretty good. This is a weaker bowling ball. This isn't exactly a super strong bowling ball. A little bit lower diff. It's like 038. So this is going to be kind of like the hustle line or the IQ tour line. Even you know a little bit stronger than maybe the IQ tour line is, but not much. So the, the overall numbers of this comes out to about 214, I think was the number. When you do the math, the RG minus the differential plus the, the cover, this is a hybrid. So it makes things a little different. Let's see if we can get to that 15, 16 range now, a little bit further left. Oh, that's right. Missed right, got it right down lane. So I got 14 to five. That wasn't bad, not, not bad. But all right, I'm gonna try again. Let's go, so now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have my feet five left of where I just was where I started. And I'm going to look at 16, probably going to hit about 17. This, I mean, this ball motion is really, really good. This is exactly what I like to see out of the cleaner bowling balls. Doesn't overreact, doesn't do anything crazy. It's just nice and clean through the front, right to the spot down lane. All right, we'll go another four left. Four left, so let's do a four and two. So we're probably gonna be right at about 19. Oh, that's right. Woo, she struck. She struck, and you can see, even though I only missed a board to the right at the arrows, I missed minimum of two, I mean, that one got to five instead of seven, so it was at least two, maybe three uh, as far as break point down lane. So you miss a single board and it changes your break point by two boards down lane. That's, that's what makes things a little bit more difficult when you're bowling in events and you're like, man, I only missed by a board, how did it do that? Well, that's why, because your angle changes by that much going down the lane. All right, let's try that again and try to throw a better shot. Just see what happens. I missed right again. Missed right again. And you see that one only got to six, so it's so struck. But isn't it crazy? Like I, uh, uh oh, oh there we go. Just slow rack. But I hit the same board, but my angle changed a little bit through the front, so I got to six. And the six and that one actually almost flat ten. Whereas when it got to five, it's still, you know, still got through the pins pretty good. All right, I'm gonna move a few left. I'm gonna go two left. Should be right around 1920. Yeah, so as I go left, you see the break point kind of comes in. I guess I could 
Now I'll move my feet one left and still look at 20 and just see. So it should get to about seven down lane by doing that. I'll move one more left. Still look at 20. See what happens. That was left. Left and left. But it was still good. I mean, it's still striking. Um, oh, kid just bowled 300 over there. That's why they're super excited. Just bowled 300, so that's pretty good. They're really excited, so it must have been, uh, might have been one of their first ones. That's pretty cool. All right. I'm not going to bowl 300 throwing it all over the lane like I am, even though I'm within a board every time. That's not very good. That's closer. Uh, I don't know if I trust that second reading. Uh, no, <laughs> I don't know if I trust that second reading. I think uh, it definitely was further right than 10. So that was odd. I'm not really sure. No, you don't need sunscreen. My kid's trying to put sunscreen on. No, we're inside, buddy. We're, how are you going to get sunburn inside? <laughs> All right, here we go. So I'm going to go one, three, four more left. And I'm going to look at 21. So it should hit about 21 or 22. I might get to about seven or eight down lane. Ooh, that's going to get way right. Got out all the way out to four. Couldn't quite get through the pins, though. I don't feel like shooting spares. Not today, Satan. Not today. Oh, I hit 30. Oh, 30 to 39. That's quite the angle. All right, here we go. I'm going to try that again. One, two, three, four. I'm going to look at 22 instead so I can shut my angle down, get the ball through the pins. That was such a bad shot. Like, I am not very good right now. Uh, hopefully the next couple of videos get better. But at least you can see the shot making is not the greatest, so... And the ball's still striking, so that's a good sign. The afterburner looks good. Pinup version looks really good. Let's try that again. See what happens. Better shot. Wow, my better shot flat tens. <laughs> Guess I gotta start getting around it. Throw a couple more shots to the left, get my hand around it a pinch. See what it does down lane now. Because now I'm not, I'm not getting around it really at all right now. All right, here we go. So I'm going to go even four more left of that. Looking at 23. See where I hit. I usually do hit left of what I'm looking at. But man, we're going to get around it. Yeah, that was a misreading. There's no way that, that was not 29. <laughs> but then again, I don't know. I have that set up. I don't know. That's weird. I have that set up, like lined up with, uh, with 20, with the middle arrow. And those other arrows are actually closer than that. So the angle might be a little bit different as I go this way. So, but ball reaction wise, that was, that was pretty sick. Let's try that again. Yeah, that one, that one said 30. So yeah, it's, it's catching that way left. A little bit different there. Well, let's go back up and see what this ball does a little bit straighter. See what this does, just a little bit straighter. Try to hit that 9 10 area a little bit straighter up the lane. See if it holds its line. Oh, 
Wow, it definitely held his line, but it didn't hook down lane from that spot. So I was a little surprised by that. Let me see if I can even go further right than that and get it to get it to do the right thing. Am I gonna make that? Come on, baby. Oh yeah. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go two more right. I'm gonna look at eight. At nine, yeah, see, so in that one, got going up the lane and overhooked. So this one might not be that good in the extreme dry as far as, you know, the right right. But again, I got a layout on it that's not gonna be very beneficial to friction as far as extreme friction over there. <laughs> All right, so if you couldn't tell, I was a little distracted by the board box in this review. Probably wasn't the greatest review because I was paying more attention to the board box than anything else. But at least when you're watching, you get to see a little bit of what the ball's meant to do or what, what it's all about, what it's going to do. I believe this is one of the first ones that's actually coming out of the Utah plant now and not out of San Antonio. So uh, you're going to see, in my opinion, you're going to see a little bit better ball reaction out of the 900 Global stuff. Not that it was bad before, but I think it'll get even that much better now uh, being out of the same plant as the other companies. So uh, I feel like this was super clean, very rounded down lane exactly what it's supposed to do for a five inch pin uh, i think it was exactly what i was trying to get out of a total 214 number so uh, we're going to look at some of the stronger balls now we've got a trend and a parallax uh, that we're going to check out as well as that volatility here in a little bit so that's all i got for you for the afterburner make sure to head over to the to bullerx.com i got the description or a link in the description below and get yours today uh, but otherwise i'm out of here guys we'll see you guys later take care